Hello everybody, my name is Xventure and welcome back to Final Fantasy 15. Last time we were adventuring through a whole bunch of stuff, not worrying about our main objective. Tell, ah crap, my cat. Oh. Um, I'll tell you about the whole story later. Right now, Gladio's had a crazy idea. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're going to hunt down at the behemoth because we're going to add some extra meat. Ah, crap. We're going to add extra meat into our instant noodles. I know that sounds pretty stupid over his behemoth meat, but seriously, I bet it'll taste good after like a behemoth steak. You already know where I am! YOLO, SUCKER! <laughs> Holy crap! So how do we bring something like this down? Ow! Oh! Oh, he landed on his horn! Oh crap! My throat hurts from making that sound! Ah! Oh my god, this thing is big and deadly, as always. Ah, it doesn't matter, we'll try and kill it! Want some? Want some? That's what I just said. How about you give him some heart and gladios? Did you get him? I'll take that as a yes. Try breaking its horn. Oh gosh dang. Okay. Uh, I need health. Yes, please. Hey, don't hit somebody when they're getting a high potion on. That's a jerk move. What? What happened to my block? I think my parry. Like that. There we go. We're doing a whole bunch of damage into this one. Let's see how you like to freeze a little bit. It slowed it down a little. Nope. Yeah! Nice one, Pronto! Well, crap. Oh, I did get hurt. Oh boy. Oh! I just broke its horn! And I got it! Its offense is weakened! Here goes the leap! Boom! Give it a little extra fire on that one! We got a behemoth round. Can't wait to slap this baby on the grill. Oh yeah. Good luck eating it. What are we waiting for? Let's get to camp and get cooking. Hell yeah! Okay, so on our last video, we were just enjoying our fun time doing some submissions, and we decided to go to one castle that probably, ugh, that probably should have the family weapon. We tried our best, but we got killed because electric bombs. But right now, we're gonna enjoy a nice, delicious instant noodles with behemoth meat that we just got from hunting down a behemoth. What's it gonna be? Oh, that looks delicious. It really does. Wow. Dark Truths, are you seeing this? Doesn't this do look darn delicious? <laughs> Also, I went back there, of course, and I actually got a few extra stuff. Like the, uh, like another Moogle ring. Pretty cool, huh? And also, uh, and also I got some holy weapons, like the holy spear. Oh, whoa. Saving that. Alright. Now, I think it's time that we head back. You know something? Going through all that trouble to make our own custom cup, it's made me appreciate cup noodles even more. Perhaps we truly can't improve upon perfection. It's not about finding the single best ingredient. It's about crafting that perfect blend of meat, egg, and shrimp. That harmony of flavors is key. Yeah, you're right. Makes you appreciate how delicious these noodles really are. I know I sure do. 
Yeah! A job well done for all of us! But, we're not done yet. That's just added into our ingredient list. So, without waiting all, all anywhere further, how about we get... How about we continue on to our main objective? I wonder what new place we're going to be heading to, aside from everything else that we saw. I do kind of wonder. Uh, trying to... Actually, why not go to my quest? There, it's more faster that way. Haha! <laughs> And I know I did not work on the other submissions, but I'll make sure to work on them another time. Back up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? We'll stock up on potions once we head on to our ne next destination. Let's go, everybody. Well, time to say goodbye to this place for now. We'll make sure to come back to do... To deal with some extra submissions around here. And I know there's a whole bunch more stuff around here that I still haven't known yet. But I, but I make a promise. I made a promise I'll make sure to come back. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, let's head on and see the new, new main objective, Brave New World. Let's go. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Here we are. Oh, it's the dog! What message, what message did you bring me now? Waiting for you in at Altasia. Sweet. Be there as fast as I can. Getting ready to set sail. Um. Getting ready to set sail. There you go, boy. Now go. I wonder how this dog was able to walk all the way here from Altasia. From where we are right now. Well, heck, I saw that cat on outside behind the lighthouse. How's, so anything's possible, I guess. With a whole bunch of footwork. I gotta make sure to give that cat some food. Ah, this is our secret harbor. Look, Prince Octus, even the Marshal came to say goodbye. Marshal? You mean the immortal Marshal? Hey, yours. It's, it's goodbye for now. Yep. I promise to come back. Please tell me I had the chance to... Oh. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in him, always. Thanks, Sid. <sighs> Let's just read this. Oh, it's another book. 
I'll let you all read that one. I'm not, I'm not going to stay long for that. Hey, do you have any idea if we have any chance to, to actually bump into a Leviathan? Nah, I'm just joking. I'm pretty sure the Leviathan is actually pretty far in the ocean. Well, Immortal, Never we're ready. Too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. A magic flask. Wait, didn't I already get a magic flask? Uh, oh well, I'll look later. Alright, guys. I think it's time that we hit on... Wait, how do we How do we get on the boat? Oh, we just go. For an invitation? Get your asses on board. Well, sorry, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Jeez. Hey, your majesty! What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it. And off we go to another epic journey. <laughs> I just saved the picture of the instant noodle that I got from the the, the, the behemoth. <laughs> uh, amazing. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking through the pictures to see if... Um, actually, saving that, that's actually pretty sweet. Oh, definitely saving that one, too. Oh. Saving that one, too. Alright. I don't know why we saved the picture of the instant noodles. I don't know why, but still, I don't care. It's probably really delicious. Okay. Now, we're up to Chapter 9. Callings. Noctis receives a warm send-off as he sets sail for Alticia. In high spirits, the prince goes forth, a stout, establishedly, excuse me on words, to seek the blessing of the hate hydrant, which will enable him to challenge the empire's might. But his true heart's desire is to find Luna, Fre Luna, Luna Freya, his bre betrothed, betrothed? I think it's supposed to be beloved? Is that right? Am I getting that right? I don't know, I'm never good with words. So this is Alistalia. He's here? Oh crap, they're both here. He arrives, but alas without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian. And you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. Hydrina? I know the price of the Covenant. What the heck are they talking about? Eleticia, City of the Sea. Whoa. I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot, and there's still more to come. Yep. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Ha! <laughs> let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna, 
Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafreya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle One. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravis. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it... Wait, Niflheim? ...strength did seem sort of... supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog. Holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps, like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Mm -hmm. Feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. Uh, are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <sighs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. Heh! <laughs> so... Soon, you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, oh, that might be a problem. Heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he How? The king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited, at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but... You're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? Huh? He means her parents. Oh, them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. and to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. 
she's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah, only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big, okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different, got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Wescom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the only There's that name again, Iggs and Reggie. Yep. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Oh, it's got a Moogle. You can count on Old West. <laughs> He'll chew your ears off. Oh, whoa. Statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. We got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Whoa! Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, knocked. Yeah. This looks absolutely amazing. Look at this! This is magnificent! Does vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Jeez. For a nice place, it really gets uptight. Wow. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Wow. I'll be surprised that the Le Leviathan actually lives here. I gotta say, he has a good taste. Good taste in nice relaxation sailing. Wow. This kind of reminds you of a place where somewhere in France. Look, I don't know my countries, okay? Think of all the fishing we could do. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Definitely. Well, we made it. Got any other words for us, Sid? Gain entry to... Accordo? Uh, if I can figure out which way I'm going. Uh, remember, this is a place of ocean, so not very much uh, cross-side roads. Ah, right, here we go. What's oh. next? Immigration? What's this? Hmm. What do you mean? There's still more? I guess so. Yes. Let's just get started. Oh. Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose? Uh. Oh, crap. Do we gotta make up a purpose? Uh, ask Ignis. He's got something. Ignis, a little help? <sighs> Utterly hopeless. Hey! We are scholars of the Conry Arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. All right, all right, I get it. Jeez. Don't have to be such a jerk about it. You want to check Westcombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. Mm-hmm. Okay, search for Wesker Westcombe's bar. It's a photographer's dream. What a city. Yeah. 
Talk about paradise here. Nothing but smooth sailing. Literally, smooth sailing. If you actually thought I was gonna make it a be make it a joke here, wow, this place has a lot of nice flowers. If you think I'm gonna make a pun here, why would I make a pun if everything looks so nice? Look at look at that! Look at those! Look at these people! Uh, look at these people! Seriously, this place looks nice as heck. Uh, there's the place, but uh, what's up, Pronto? We should be pretty close to a famous photo spot. Why the hell not? Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. Where to? Oh, that way. Uh, we gotta figure out how to go that way first. Uh, bridge. Uh, oh, we gotta go upstairs. Uh, okay. Uh, where's stairs? Uh, trying to figure out where stairs are. Uh, where? 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 Uh, where are the stairs? Hello, fellows. I gotta get going. Uh, where are stairs? Oh, here's stairs. Okay. Sweet. Man. Place looks so amazing. Uh, let's see. A Tyrant Street. Ah. Yeah. Tyrant. Not bad. <sighs> Man, it's hot. Then lose the jacket. This is gonna be Luna Freya's clothing? I gotta say, it looks nice. Okay, so downstairs. Now we gotta look for downstairs. Uh. Where downstairs are. Oh, sorry. Uh. Where downstairs? There's gotta be one around here somewhere. I always get myself lost when it comes to cities like these. What about it? Uh. What's this? Flavor of the day is. Oh, ice cream. Okay. Uh. This way? Eh, that guy didn't seem to care. Alright. Oh, hello! It's, these guys have some energy stuff. I can actually use some energy. Uh, give me energy! There we go. That, that, that. I've got all energy on that one. Okay. Okay. Um, rip. Oh, whoa. Hello! So is this the place? Did we find some sort of secret? What? Rather sultry. Yeah. Uh, I think we've taken a wrong turn. Uh, th this is gonna take me a while. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I really have no idea where I'm going. Is there a downstairs where I need to go? Gosh dang, I always get myself lost when it comes to these. Oh boy. Uh, where do I go to go to the place where I need to be? Is it this way? No, that gate is in the way. Uh, well, crap. Where do I go? Where do I go? Uh, uh, uh gosh dang it, I'm st I'm literally stuck in a nice city. Oh, the ladies belong to the stairs. Uh huh. Okay, so that's a sign that we can't go anywhere farther, so we gotta find the door. Where... Where are the stairs? Where are they? I'm probably gonna skip this till I figure out where they are. Probably. Ah... Uh, crap. The entire city's built like a maze. Yeah, I agree! Don't get lost. What do you want? <laughs> Come on. Ignis, you're getting lost too. You're following me for Pete's sakes. You think I actually know where I'm going? Well, crap, this is not the right way. If you're so smart, how about you wander around? Like, I have no idea where I'm going at all. Look at me, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm pretty sure this is the place that we need to be, but which turn away are we supposed to take? Gosh dang it. 
Like seriously, where are we supposed to go? What do I do? Am I supposed to go this way? I really have no idea. Already, time flies when you're having fun. I guess since I'm getting lost. Ah. Uh, Gosh dang, this is gonna be a while, so I'll be right back till I find it find out where I'm supposed to go. What's this? Oh fishing. Ah Dang it, I just took a gigantic circle. Oh there's something. A gold needle. Cool. How am I supposed to get down there? Is there some sort of stairway or something? Uh. She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the Prince now that he's come. Where do I go? I really have no idea. Mm. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Yeah, it does. I want to continue on the story, but I don't know where I'm going. Uh. Are we supposed to get a boat or are we supposed to find a way around? I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. Here's our ride. Uh, we want to go to... Uh, wait. Hold on. We want to go here, so we gotta take this stop right here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, we figured out the problem. Wow, this boat looks nice. Wow. Very Chinesey, kind of like. Heck, even the furniture looks nice, also. Okay, we finally made it. We finally figured out where we have to go, and wow, this is actually a pretty cool bar. Eat something. This is our stop. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. You got it. We finally made it after being lost for a couple of minutes. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskamama, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. Shop till you drop. All right. We'll talk to that guy once we get, take a picture. Know about Lady Lunafreya's speech. Take a shot from here. This will definitely be a good place. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. Dang it! Bet the view's even better from a gone. All right. His friend seems like a cool guy. Just wonder how he ended up here. He just Probably having enough money. At the church and looking all sad. Can you blame him? His sister Got a word with me? There. But he knew what was going to happen that day. He could have at least warned her. Well, what if he wanted to? Am I really stuck? Okay, here we go. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. Hmm. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You brought up Nivelheim again. Ask me about the Empire, ask about Leviathan, ask about the Oracle. What's the Oracle? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Lunafreya? 
They're in the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. Hmm. That is pretty strange. Okay, what about the Empire? So you see lots of NIFs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altitia. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Really? They're really going about too far about this. Okay, now one more thing. Ask us about Leviathan. Leviathan. Le -le Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question, if they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. I think I'll get something to drink. Hi. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. I really hope you're right. Okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll Might as that. well. It's gonna be one heck of a day, I guess. Alright, so... Now we gotta figure out where we need to go again. There's actually a hotel close by to... Uh, right here, so we can just... We off to? Set sail. Um, yeah, this spot. Eh, yeah, skip. Yes. Let's... Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. All right. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? What's this? How about a ridela on the gondola? Gondola? Eh? Eh, we gotta get ready for tomorrow. See what the Imperials are trying to do. Y you! Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Let's see, through Umbra's power, you can now revisit past memories. Memories. Summon him when you rest... At loungings, characters will retain their current level and abilities. Rental chocobos will automatically return to the to the post. The the place you called Umbra will be set as your last rest point. Okay, so I got a messenger's amulet. Thank you. Wait, head to the first security well, estate. Guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. Yeah. How events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Wow. She can sit tight a while. 
This place actually looks really amazing at night. Literally. Do you see that, Noct? See what? Huh? Oh, a statue. What's it say? A goddess of as mere Merciful as the sea is a wide may leviathan long protected this land. Peace be unto unto the prof the province of Accordo. Hmm. Peace be unto the province. What would you like? Okay, I did spell my name right. Okay. That word. La 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 la. La 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 la. I always mess up my words. La 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 la. Alright. So we're almost there. We're almost at the spot where we need to be. Oh, are we in that confusing spot place? I think we are. At least this one won't be very confusing because there's stairways right here. Yes! Alright, here we are. This better be good. Hello! Once you negate... Uh, Nagination, whatever, begins, you will be unable to return to the city. Are you certain you wish to continue? Seriously? Well, that's unbelievable. What? Why would... Why would there... Why, 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 why will there be things that I cannot go back to? Thank you for coming. Let's see. The negotiation is about to begin. With First Secretary Clastra, engage her in a way manner benefiting a king and strive to win her trust. Okay. No sweat. First things first. Express gratitude. Um, express gratitude. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Nice. Those circumstances have changed. Both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Uh, let's go with this. Show concern for a Kodor. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk. One we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Hmm. Now let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? Let's see. Be truthful, answer... <sighs> I guess we can't really... We gotta tell her the truth, why we're doing this. She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Hmm? Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? We can't really hold anything back. We gotta gain their trust. I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. Hmm. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Allude to the common enemy, show concern for the city. Actually, show concern for the city. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. Could the chases agree with her? Yeah, agree with her. Citizens' lives would actually be in danger. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. 
If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. Yes, I... I'll help on the evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. <sighs> act discipline, act confident. All right, I'll give you my word. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? Agree. We'll help however we can. Lest you forget, this is a business deal. A flippant attitude will earn you a flippant response. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. All right. Noctis made a positive impression on the first secretary. Sweet! We actually did a very good job. They're on our side. The summit. Now... We get ready for war. I just hope everything doesn't get backfired. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. Ten odd years? The day of the riot. Alright. Looks like this video is going to actually be a little bit longer than we think. Phone, not now! During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. All right. This is gonna be one heck of a fight. So we gotta make sure not to make them Leviathan mad. We got our plan, and we better get ready.
If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. Don't tell me she just stabbed us in the back. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Jeez, that actually surprised me. Okay, now things are very becoming very concerning. An island nation known for the beauty of its water-bound capital, At Altesia, though, though annexed by the Empire in the war 150 years ago, it, it retains its own government. Okay, checkers, no, 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 now's not the time. Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Nope. Of course. Okay. Let's not screw this up. Unless Checker screws it up for me. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. So am I supposed to walk up there? I guess so. There's actually like a path for me. I don't hear any claps. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith. For our gods watch over us. By their blessings. By the stars that light the heavens above. Our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all.
Man, the crowd keeps going. Wait. What's going on? Knocked. The umpire's here. Oh, crap. Dropships are closing in on the port. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. All right. Ah, ah crap. My cat just fell over. I don't know what she was trying to do, but... Ah, she scattered. Dang it, checkers. You should have just been patient. Why weren't you patient? Okay. Confidence. Riots, riots by which the Oracle roos, roos, roses the slumbering... Uh, Slumbering gods and entreats their go entreats their aids. Okay, so we gotta we gotta stop them before they wake up with a fire and it cause destruction. If anybody knows how to make quite a destruction, I guess it will have to be me. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Holy crap. The raging Leviathan. Leviathan. I do. Knocked. The hydrant has awoken. The civilians? Almost there. We'll join you when we're done. The Empire has the hydrant surrounded. Hurry, Knocked. Alright, 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 alright. Then the rites already begun. Most likely. Time to lend the hydrant a hand. Time to send out hell! Let's do it! You guys don't stand no chance when I got the ultimate sword! Bring it on! It's time to rock! Okay, so how do I do this competition? Whoa! Here we go! Party just started! Whoa! I saw Leviathan attacks! Better hurry! Out of the way! Oh, f oh, screw off, you dumb soldiers. Really? You what? Time to stop your dumb game. There we go. Better keep it up. Whoa. Well, she is raging. I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. Crap! Mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow the king will prove himself worthy. Crap. She's 
calling in the tidal wave. We better hurry. Prompto's headed your way. But what about you guys? We'll wait below. There's only room for two. All right. Jump! What? No time for questions. All right. All right. Come on, jump. Jump. Okay, here we go. Man. I wish you know. I hope you know what you're doing. The hell? Whoa! You stole a harpoon! Oh crap! Oh crap! We got block attacks! Whoa! Holy crap! This is actually pretty epic! Just hold on tight! Crap! Hey, nice job finding this baby. Well, when I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again! Don't worry, I got this! Just gotta block it off a little bit more! There we go! Ooh! Oh crap, there she is! Almost became fish food! Oh wait! I have a fire head! Can she see me? <laughs> Leviathan! Hi! Request her power, demand her power. Request! I need your power! <laughs> oh crap! Did she send me flying? Oh, don't tell me I screwed up. <laughs> Ah! So much for treason! Oh crap! Now we're facing true power! So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? Just like Titan! Oh crap! I think it's time for me to run! Oh, this is the. There's nowhere else to run! Oh wait! Here we go! Okay. Where are you, Leviathan? There you are. Okay, I'm on her. Alright. Ah! How do I do this? How can I have a fighting chance with that? Oh, here we go! Ah, it's not good enough! Come on, a warping area! Here we go! Just hanging around! Oh, okay! That happened! Oh, okay! Oh, crap! She's calling in aqua blasts. Jeez! How do I beat something this powerful? Okay, got her stab in the head. Crap. This is not going so good. Luna? You! Now, about that ring... No! On second thought, you let him have it. What she... what'd he do? And do remind him about the crystal. No! Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, 
all in thrall to darkness shall know peace. Bastard! What's going on? Armor gear. Whoa! This is the power of the armor gear? Unbelievable! This is the power of an armor gear. It's incredible. I'm doing really massive damage into her. Breaking it, her pieces. Break her pieces first, then demolish her. Holy crap, I'm just raining down destruction on her. Where'd she go? Holy crap. I'm just raining down hell! Whoa! Here it comes again! Just giving her a massive amount of damage! I should have probably gotten all the family weapons. This power is massive! Oh, that's my tactical. Is she really gonna keep doing this? Oh, nope. She stopped. Okay, where are you, Leviathan? I got plenty more power. Ow. She got me a little bit. Holy crap! Oh, okay! I don't know how long this is gonna take because she is taking quite a hit! Oh, I'm doing plenty of damage though!
Holy crap! This power of army gear is actually pretty epic! If I do get back to that town where I was, I gotta make sure to do a little bit more farming. Come on! How much more hits do I have to do? Here it comes! Oh wait! I gotta do a little bit! Come on! Just a little bit more! Come on! Get dunked on Leviathan! That was awesome. It's done. <laughs> Blessed stars of life and death. She's still not done? Huh? Titan! He's holding her off! Noctis? Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... That doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. 
Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell, dear Noctis. with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. What happened to you? May take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. Oh man. Today is literally not a good day. We got Leviathan, but we lost Luna. Oh man. still have a whole bunch of work to do. We're going to see what happens. We're heading to our next area. The Heart of the King. Across the water and onto and onto the rails, the royal routine routine, routine I don't know, makes a grail, grail the imperial capital their objective re reclaiming the crystal that they may they might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Nox Noctis to bear. Oh, Sid wasn't really. Yeah, Sid wasn't really joking about that one. Well, crap. I I really feel bad. I really do. Luna's dead. 
not only not just his father but Luna the woman that he was gonna marry oh man this kinda sucks and not only that Ignis is blind He's not going to do very well in combat either. Oh, man. The Scourge of the Stars. Several weeks later. Already at our next destination. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Has that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Who do this? I... I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Knocked! Leave him! Noxus is free to roam about the train until it pulls into it into the station. Off the rails. Walk around until the train arrives. The tomb is just a station away. You think we'll be okay? All of us? Those men in black are spooking me out. Don't talk about others. Passing the Oracle. Okay, so we're gonna be here for a little bit longer. Until we actually get to our stop and then call it for now. Things really took a whole unfortunate turn. I really have no words for it. It just happened so suddenly. Man. 
I just have really no idea. It it just happened so suddenly. We were just trying to let Leviathan give us our powers, but and lend us her powers to us. But things really took an unfortunate turn. Very. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Oh, a whole long trip. Just really have no idea. I can't go that way. You want to head to the dining car? So you can feast your eyes on that other girl. Give me a break. I'm just hungry is all. We'll be on foot in Gardanica. Let's see. Passenger cart light switch. Do not touch. Alright, alright, fine. Oh. This is how far we can actually go. Oh crap, this is the only thing we can do now? Just wander around? Well, dang. I think I have to stop the video here for now, but I'll see if we can actually find a stop. Unless we get to the stop. Are we here? Almost. Where did Gladios go anyways? Well, probably went through that doorway. Probably. I literally walked through everywhere, so I have no idea what else we can do. Wait. All right, we made it. Oh man. Well, we made it. And we're going to stop here for now because a whole bunch of stuff just happened. The hand of the king. Ride the elevator down to the to the mines. Alright. But like I said, we're going to call it here for now. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and family. Leave a comment below. Join the adventure today. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.